Good evening from London. Conservative Party members have voted Liz Truss as the new UK Prime Minister. Truss will succeed Boris Johnson tomorrow. She becomes the country's third female leader. As well as dealing with a daunting set of social and economic challenges and the ongoing war in Ukraine, Ms Truss will also have to reunite a Tory party, which has spent weeks indulging in blue-on-blue infighting. Staying with the leadership contest, Kwasi Kwarteng, the 47-year-old graduate from Eton, Cambridge and Harvard, is set to be the first black man to be appointed the British Chancellor of the Exchequer. Kwarteng backed leave in the EU referendum and was Boris Johnson's business secretary. His role as Chancellor is likely to be dominated by soaring inflation caused by the European energy crisis. France's dominant service sector declined in the month of August, with economists citing weaker demand amid an increasingly grim business climate. The S&P Global Index fell to 51.2 last month, from 53.2 in July. Elsewhere, Italy's service sector grew modestly during the same period, rising from 48.4 in July to 50.5 in August. Analysts are still anticipating a sharp slowdown over the rest of the year as firms struggle to pay their bills. China has accused an American spy agency of hacking a government-funded aeronautics and space research program. According to a statement issued by Beijing authorities, the U.S. National Security Agency conducted more than 10,000 vicious cyber attacks on Chinese targets in recent years. Both countries have been engaged in an increasingly hostile war of words over cyber spying, with China becoming more direct in naming American government agencies in its accusations. Both the U.S. Embassy in Beijing Beijing and the NSA declined to comment. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.